water bottles for life. I'm sitting here with a hot water bottle on and I am boiling. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be playing with a cool collection. Yes, I have got the new iHeart Revolution, the Aristocats collection to play with. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm a little bit late to the party, I know. Um, I did get this collection like a week ago and I just, yeah, I just haven't had a chance to play with it. So we're playing with it now but yeah I'm sorry I'm a little bit late so yeah if you didn't know I Heart Revelation came out with their collection with the Aristocats they've collabed with Disney on like the Disney princesses and now they've done this and I was like you know what I just had to pick it up because I love Disney don't come at me I've literally forgotten what happens in the Aristocats I have not watched the Aristocats since I was like a little like really young I need to re-watch it um I just haven't had a chance yet so yeah don't don't come at me I'm not too sure like I can't remember what happens I don't really remember many of the characters um so yeah this is based around Marie which obviously she's the main character but yeah we have some cool stuff from this collection they launched a couple of different things they've come out with a palette which we've got here to play with today they also come out with three individual highlighters I only picked up one of them because I didn't really feel like I needed all three just saying and um, they also came out with some lip glosses they came out with three lip glosses as well but again I didn't feel like I needed all three I just felt like I needed the one to test and um, they also came out with a like mirror that's like a paw print I'll put a little photo on the screen so you can see um, they came out with a brush that's like a paw brush um, and they also came out with some lashes I think that's it yeah obviously I didn't feel like I needed the mirror I didn't feel like I needed the brush I definitely didn't feel like I needed the lashes so I didn't get any of them I just got the bits that I thought I would use okay so let's take a look at the collection so we have the palette here this is the the main star of the show I would say so this is the Stay Sassy palette. I love the packaging. I think it is so cute. Um, anything like Disney related, I'll probably keep the packaging too because I just love Disney. Um, like I with my with the Princesses collection, I kept the packaging for that. Oh, so this is the packaging on the outside. This palette retails for fifteen pound, by the way, guys, which I think is actually pretty cool. But yeah, this is the packaging. It's so pretty. Um. I love it. I love it. I think it's adorable. So yeah, the it, on the back it has the shades like here, and usually they have like the little stars next to the number if it is like a pressed pigment. Um, so it looks to be a couple of pressed pigments. I think there's only about three. Yeah, only three pressed pigments, but you know. Um, and on the back it just says thirty six per perfect like per. I'm not good at doing that Scotties but um, perfect shades of matte and metallic shadows to make your eyes sparkle like sapphires so cute and then you open up the inside it has this like plastic bit in the middle which I think you can remove um I think you can I hope so no it has like a bit down the middle which looks like you can remove it but yeah it's like to keep the shadows like separate so they don't go on to the other side. That kind of makes sense when you close it because obviously it's one of them ones. Um, but yeah, this is the inside. There's some really pretty shades in here. Like there is pinks, there's pur a couple of purples, there's greys. There's some gorgeous metallic shades. Um, this is pop of like blue down here, which is quite cute. But yeah got some really nice shades in here I'm really intrigued for the metallics to be honest with you more than the mattes I feel I'm kind of looking at the mattes and I I'm struggling to feel like inspired for some unknown reason but yeah they all look really nice though like really pretty and um, I'll come back I'll show you the other things first and then I'll come back and we'll swatch a few shades from the palette Um, but yeah so the next thing that I got was a highlighter again like I said I only got 
the one highlighter so pretty i love that that's so cute um love it so i got mine in the shade duchess the packaging's really cute it's got like the little paw prints on it so adorable so the highlighters retail wait let me check let me have a little look see they retail for five pound which honestly five pound is really good for a highlighter so this is a really pretty champagne gold kind of shade it's really gorgeous like i said there is two other shades as well so there's a beloved which is a pearlescent pink and then there's madame which is a rose gold i think madame would have been too dark for me let me swatch this shade oh wow it feels very creamy it feels very creamy that is so pretty though definitely got like a quite a gold undertone but it is still stunning like honestly I'm actually surprised at how creamy that felt. I don't know why, I just, yeah, it just kind of was. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to play with this. And like I said, I got one of the glosses. These are like the ooh la la glosses, I think they're called. I don't really know. I think they are, yeah. I'm not too sure, it just says ooh la la on the packaging and obviously the, the palette says stay sassy, but on the website it's not called stay sassy, it's just like the Arrowster Cats marie eyeshadow palette so i'm a bit like confused as to what that means um but yeah i think there might just be like little quotes but it's kind of confusing me so yeah this is the gloss i got mine in the shade Beloys. i am really sorry if i'm butchering that i can't remember the film like i said um so yeah this is the shade it is so pretty so the lip gloss is also retail for five pound um i really like this shade i think this shade's so cute um, so there is other two other glosses as well. There's one that is a sheer gloss with iridescent pink hues. And then there's also Toulouse, which is an opaque dusty peach gloss. Um, I was like, I went for the pink gloss. It smells quite nice. It smells quite sweet. Let me swatch it. Oh, it's definitely like on the clear side. It's just like a little shift of pink in there i feel like i should have got one of the of the other glosses but that uh, this one on the swatch is kind of called my name but yeah i don't know so this is what it swatches like it's underneath the highlighter it's this one here it's definitely like a like a clear gloss with like pink like a pink tint to it it is not glittery at all it's just like I can I don't know isn't it's just not there's no shimmer in it there's no glitter there's no shimmer it is just a straight up standard like gloss with a pink like a pink tint to it kind of which is quite nice so yeah I'm gonna swatch a couple of the shades from the palette now because I am super excited Um, let me go ahead and swatch a few shades okay I swatched quite a few shades to be honest with you Um, I got a bit carried away they actually swatch all right. Some of the purples on this side didn't, like these top two ones, didn't swatch the greatest. However, it could just be, you know, like one of them things where it just doesn't swatch great and it applies better on the lid. But yeah. Some really pretty shades in here. This blue looks gorgeous. It's I thought it was a matte, but it's definitely got like a bit of shimmer in it. But yeah, they all swatch really well, like really well. Um, the shimmers are definitely like the star of the show for me. Like the shimmers stand out to me more than like what the mattes do, which is a shame. But yeah, I feel like, I don't know. I'm excited. You know what? We're just going to, I'm just going to go ahead, prime my lids, zoom you guys in. And we're going to just get straight on into playing with the palette because yeah, we're here. Let's go. Okay, so I'm back primer lids of course zoomed you guys in let's jump into this palette i'm going to take the shade beloved first which is this pink shade here i feel like they're missing some pink matte shades like i feel like that's kind of what missing what's missing from this palette um but yeah i'm just going to start to pack this through the crease of course Oh, as usual. Let me know, guys, if you've picked up this collection or if you're like wanting to pick up this collection. I 
This shade's really pretty. That shade's really nice. I, d I feel like there's just like a deep pink kind of missing from this, but that shade's really quite cute. It's quite pretty. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Marie, of course. This pink shade here, sorry, <laughs> this shade. It's so hard to hold up with this plastic thing in the middle. Like I'm not a big fan of it. I'm just gonna blend around the outer edge with this shade. By the way, the first shade guys had like no fallout, like none at all. Literally zilch. Honestly, like, these two shades are like just so easy to like pack on and blend together. Like they literally are gorgeous. I am gonna take like a creamy kind of shade. I'm gonna take this shade here, um, Gabelle, Gabelle. This one here, like a creamy white matte shade. Um, more like a creamy kind of shade, I would say, just to like blend around the edges just to make sure everything is blended seamlessly. I am so excited for their other princess collection. I think they're doing an aerial palette. I would love if they did a Rapunzel palette. Like I love Rapunzel. Like Tangled is like one of my favorite Disney movies. I also love Moana as well. Like me and Scott love Moana. Um, So I'm going to quickly just build up these shades off camera, build them up, blend them out, like I usually do. I don't really need to do too much, like I think it looks pretty good like this. Um, and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the lid shade together. I'll probably cut my crease. So yeah, we'll do that, cut my crease. Then we'll be back to do the lid shade. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, literally like half an hour later after cutting my crease. <laughs> For the lid shade, I'm going to take the shade Sapphires, which is this blue shade. Honestly, I was like debating it. This blue shade here. Because I thought it was a matte and it's like got a bit of shimmer in it, we're gonna try it and see what it looks like. Um, so yeah. Oh, it's quite pale. It's quite pretty though. I kind of like this. I can't lie, I kind of like it. It's not like the shimmeriest of shades, to be honest. It's more just like, you could probably get away with it as a matte if you wanted to, because there's not a lot of like shimmer in it. Um, but it's still stunning, like it's still a stunning shade. I'm gonna also take the shade Madame, which is this shade up here I don't really know what to describe it as it's like a pinky kind of shade and um, I literally just swatched it but they're very sassy as well like I feel like these two look very similar maybe I'll go in with sassy yeah I think I'm gonna take the shade sassy actually I'm not gonna take the, sh the shade madam I'm gonna take the shade sassy which is this pink shade here and I'm just gonna put that like in between the blue and the pink just then it like blends a bit more seamlessly not that it's not blended seamlessly anyway but you know you know what I mean so of course I have to take an inner corner shade of course I do uh, I'm gonna take the shade ooh la la which is this shade here it's like a really pretty icy white shade put that on the inner corner 
Oh, yes. That is the perfect inner corner shade. I actually love this. This kind of inner short corner shade is like stunning. Stunning. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly just going to go ahead, do my lashes, my base, um, all that kind of jazz, and then we're going to be back and we'll try the highlighter and of course we'll try the gloss. So yeah, I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am like kind of back, I guess, yes. So now we're going to be trying out the highlighter and the lip gloss. Um, I'm excited. Also, I'm obsessed with this eye look. Like, I think it looks so cute. I don't think I've done a colour combo that's, like, like this. So, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so now for the highlighter. We have, obviously, the highlighter here. I did already swatch it, of course. I love it. I love how it's got a paw print in it. So bloody cute. So, I'm just going to spritz my face just using the Morphe setting mist. Just all over that like that and then we're just gonna apply the highlighter on top of my cheeks as you know you usually would oh that's stunning I like that I like that shade it's so pretty like I said there is a pink more like pinky toned one and there's more of like a rose kind of goldy pinky shade one um the rose pinky shade one I think would be too dark for my skin tone um however I think if you're like a similar skin tone to me you'll be able to get away with this one and the light pinky one I think the, I think the other pinky one is like an icy kind of white pinky one I think so stunning I like this shade it is really pretty I usually I, I'm not like a gold kind of highlighter kind of girl um but, but I think because this has got like a tiny bit of like a champagne in it it's definitely more like yellow based um oh, but it still looks stunning I actually really like that it's actually gorgeous <laughs> kind of living five pounds I don't think you can you can't go wrong and plus it has like a little mirror and it's a compact so it'd be great for like Pop it in your handbag, that kind of thing. Like that. Okay, moving on to the lip gloss. I have already applied a lipstick. I'm using the Makeup Obsession Dr Matchmaker Lip Crayon in the shade Dreamy. It's really nice. I actually quite like the lip crayons now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to apply the lip gloss on top. It smells nice. It smells nice and sweet. Let's see. I don't think it will like really do much to the lipstick obviously but by itself I feel like it'll look really pretty it doesn't do much on top of the lipstick but it still gives it a nice effect a glossy effect and it feels quite nice like it feels like a lip oil almost like it doesn't feel sticky at all yeah living okay guys this is the finished look what do you guys think let me know let me know i'm kind of living for it i really like the shades of the eyeshadow i think they look stunning so yeah let's talk about the products so obviously let's talk about the eyeshadow palette because that is the first thing that i used and kind of like the i think it's like going to be the most popular thing out of the collection to be honest with you so first of all, I really like the packaging. I think it is super cute. It's quite nice. I wouldn't say it's travel friendly. Like it's quite thick and it also doesn't have a mirror. So yeah, mm -hmm. I could still take it traveling with you if you wanted to, but yeah. The inside, I don't like the plastic thing. I think this is a bit annoying. Like it's, I understand the purpose of it and I do appreciate that it's there. Um, but I just feel like when you're trying to reach into this side, it's like you have to keep lifting it up. Like, obviously, of course, if you have a mirror in your hand as well, like you're trying to like take a shadow and you have to like move it. Like, it's not like one of them ones where you can like put it to one side. It's because it's stuck on this inside bit. 
I know that I can peel it off and I probably will peel it off to be honest with you, but yeah. Um, so the shades I used, of course, blended out beautifully. They packed on beautifully, like the mattes. Um, I really like them. I just wish, I wish there was a darker pink shade to be honest with you, I really do. But it's not a make or break. Um, I feel like some of the shades are quite similar in terms of the mattes. Um, there's a couple of grey tones. There's a couple like this like purple shade here and also like this purple shade. I didn't feel like they needed both in the palette. They're both very similar. Um, even some of the greys are quite similar and even some of the shimmers are quite similar like the sassy shade and the madame shade. Like I feel like they're too similar. I feel like they could have added more pinks in here to be honest with you. I don't feel like there's a lot of pink mattes. Like realistically there's like two. Two pink mattes and the rest are like cool tone purples and like grey shades and yeah there's a couple of neutral shades in here which is quite nice like this little brown shade here and also like this kind of peachy browny tone shade so it's nice that they've got some neutrals in here Um, the shimmers definitely look gorgeous I actually love this shade as a shimmer like I thought it was going to be a matte but I suppose you can use it as a matte if you wanted to Um. I really like it as a lid shade though, especially with the pinks. I think it contrasts beautifully. Um, honestly, £15 for 36 shades, it's a bargain. I actually really like it. If this colour story is definitely up your alley, then definitely pick it up. I feel like they could have changed out some of the shades though, but that's just my personal opinion. I'm just letting you guys know. Moving on to the highlighter, I think the highlighter looks stunning. It is glowy, it is gorgeous. It just, yeah, it looks beautiful on the skin. It doesn't emphasise any texture. It just looks stunning. I feel like if you are like a um, like fair to medium skin tone, you'll be able to work with this. Um, there is obviously two other shades if you weren't too sure on this one, but I think this one is definitely my favourite. I am not like a duochrome highlighter kind of girl. Like I'm not like a pinky highlighter kind of girl, which is why I didn't pick up the other one, but I like this. This is pretty, pretty. Okay, moving on to the gloss. Obviously, I only picked up one. I only used one, yes. I quite like this. I feel like it'll be nice to wear by itself as well. You know, like on them no makeup makeup kind of days when you just put, like, you just want a little bit of like a tint to your lips with a little bit of gloss, but you don't want it to be like crazy because you're looking for that no makeup makeup look. I feel like this will be beautiful because it's just like got a hint of pink in it, well, like especially when I swatched it. But it's also nice on top of like pink lipsticks, um, of course, because it's got like no shimmer in it, so it's just like a gloss. And um, I really like it. It's not sticky. I would say it's more of like a lip oil. It honestly feels more like a lip oil than it does a gloss. And I really like that. And this shade is stunning as well. Of course, there are always two other shades as well. I kind of wanted to pick up the paint, like the icy pink one like the white one like I feel like I should have picked that up but I still really like this and it's still gorgeous so yes I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it would really help me out if you want me to do another look using the palette let me know because I can do just let me know it's so cute I love it um let me know if you're picking anything up from the collection or if there's anything that you were wanting to pick up um, because there's some beautiful bits in it and to be honest with you I hope Revolution just always get me with their packaging like I'm obsessed I'm obsessed of course as always I'll be linking everything that I'm wearing in the description box down below and as always I'll be linking my social media handles above and also in the description box down below in case you want to check me out there so yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye